What up, everybody? We're gonna finish Exodus right now. Um, and then on to Leviticus. I got knock out a few of these before I go to work today, so we're gonna kind of rush through these. I'm gonna read through them pretty quick. Uh, but bear with me. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for everything you do for me. Just thank you for giving us your words. Teach us how to worship you better and how to learn our lives better. Um, help us to give us discernment and understanding so that, you know, we learn the things you want us to learn and help it to reach ears you would like it to reach. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. All right. 39. And of the blue and the purple and the scarlet, they make cloths of service and to do service in the holy place and made the holy garments for Aaron as the Lord commanded Moses. And he made the ephod of gold, purple, gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen. And they did beat the gold into thin plates and cut it into wires to work it in the blue and the in the purple and in the scarlet and in the fine linen. With cunning work they made shoulder pieces for it to couple it together by the two edges was it coupled together. And the curious girdle of his ephod that was upon it <coughs> was of the same according to the work thereof of gold blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen as the Lord commanded Moses and they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold graven as signets are graven with the names of the children of Israel and he put them on the shoulders of the ephod that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses, and he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen. It was four, squ four square. They made the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof being doubled. And they set it in, <clears throat> they set it, they set in it four rows of stones. The first row was a sardius, a topaz, a car car carbuncle. Yeah, I can read. This was the first row. In the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. The third row, a uh, ligure, uh, an agate, and an uh, amethyst. In the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings. And the stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve according to their names. Like the engravings of the signet, everyone with his name according to the twelve tribes. And they made upon the breastplate chains at the ends of the rhythm work of pure gold. And they made two ouches of gold and two gold rings and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. And the two ends of the two wreathen chains they fastened in the two ouches and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate upon the border of it, which was on the side of the ephod inward. And they made two other golden rings and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath toward the fore part of it. Over against the other coupling there, thereof above the curious girdle of the ephod and they did bind the breastplate by his rings unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue that it might be above the curious girdle of the ephod and that the breastplate might not be loosened from the ephod as the Lord commanded Moses and he made the robe of the ephod of woven work all of blue 
And there was an hole in the midst of the robe, as the hole of the hyper of an hyper geon. I don't know. <laughs> Habergon. Habergion? I don't know. With a band round about the hole, that it should not rend. And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue and of, and purple and scarlet and twined linen. And they made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe around about between the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate a bell and a pomegranate round about the hem of the robe to minister in as the Lord commanded Moses and they made coats of fine linen and woven work for Aaron and for his sons and a mitre of fine linen and goodly bonnets of fine linen and linen breeches of fine twine linen and a girdle of fine twined linen and purple and uh, and blue and purple and scarlet of needlework as the Lord commanded Moses. And they made a plate of holy crown of pure gold and wrote upon it a writing like to the engraving of a signet, holiness to the Lord. And they tried unto the, it a lace of blue and to fasten it on high upon the mitre as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation finished, and the children of Israel did according to all that Mo the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. And they brought the tabernacle unto Moses, the tent, and all his furniture, his thatches, his boards, his bars, and his pillars, and his sockets, and the covering of ram skins dyed red and the covering of badger skins and the veil of the covering the ark of the testimony and the staves thereof and the mercy seat the table and all the vessels thereof and the showbread and the pure candlestick with the lamps thereof even with the lamp to be set in order and all the vessels thereof and the oil for the light and the golden altar and the anointing oil and the sweet incense and the hanging for the tabernacle door, the brazen altar and his great of brass, his staves and all his vessels, the labor of his foot, the hanging of the court, of court, his pillars, his sockets, and the hanging for the court gate, his cords and his pins, and all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of the congregation, <clears throat> the clothes of service, to do service in a holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest and his son's garments to minister in the priest's office. According to all the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel made all the work. And Moses did look upon all the work, and behold, they had done it, as the Lord had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moses blessed them. Forty. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, On the first day of the first month shalt thou set up the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and thou shalt put therein the ark of the testimony, and, the, and cover the ark with the veil. And thou shalt bring in the table, and set in order the things that are to be set in order upon it. And thou shalt bring in the candlestick, and light the lamp thereof. And thou shalt set the altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony, and put the hanging of the door to the tabernacle. And thou shalt set the altar of burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. And thou shalt set the la laver between the tent and the congregation and the altar, and shalt put water therein. And thou shalt set up the court round about, and hang up the hanging at the court gate. And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle, and all that is therein, and shalt hollow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. 
And thou shalt anoint the altar of burnt offering and all his vessels and sanctify the altar. And it shall be an altar most holy. And thou, thou shalt anoint the laver and his foot and sanctify it. And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and wash them with water. And thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garments and anoint him and sanctify him that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt bring his sons and, and clothe them with coats. And thou shalt anoint them as, they, as thou didst anoint their father that they may minister unto me in the priest's office, for their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. Thus did Moses according to all the Lord's command, all the Lord commanded him. So did he, and it came to pass in the first month of the second year of the first day of the month that the tabernacle was reared up and Moses reared up the tabernacle and fastened his sockets and set up the boards thereof and put in the bars thereof and reared up his pillars and he spread abroad the tent over the tabernacle and put the covering of the tent above upon it <coughs> as the Lord commanded Moses and he took and put the testimony <coughs> into the ark and set the staves on the ark and put the mercy seat above upon the ark and he brought the ark into the tabernacle and set up the veil of the covering and and covered the ark of the testimony as the lord commanded moses and he put the table in the tent of the congregation upon the side of the tabernacle northward without the veil and he set the bread in order upon it before the lord as the Lord had commanded Moses, and he put the candlestick in the tent of the congregation over against the table on the side of the tabernacle southward. And he lighted the lamps before the Lord, and the Lord commanded Moses, and he put a golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil, and he burst sweet incense thereon, and he burnt sweet <laughs> incense thereon, and the Lord commanded Moses. <clears throat> And he set up an, up the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. And he put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation offered upon it the burnt offering and the meat offering as the Lord commanded Moses. And he set the layer between the tent of the congregation and the altar and put water there to wash withal. And Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet thereat. When they went into the tent of the congregation, and when they came near unto the altar, they washed as the Lord commanded Moses. And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode, abode, abode <laughs> thereon. And the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel, throughout all their journeys. There we go. Next, we start Leviticus. Woohoo! All right. I'll be back with Leviticus in a little bit. Peace. And never forget Genesis 9-3.
tasted and seen of the sweetest of us.